Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my top favorite um, palettes, top five. And just a disclaimer, I haven't really um, bought a lot of new palettes just because a lot of the palettes don't catch my eye. Um, also, like I'm a college student, so I can't just be going and buying every single palette that comes out. So I'm only planning on purchasing whatever catches my eye. So this is only the top five that I currently own. So a lot of the newest palettes I just don't have either because I've heard of really bad things about them or they just don't catch my eye at all. But nonetheless, I'm able to create any look I see just using the palettes that I already own. Yay! So, you know, in my head, I don't need to be getting every single palette that comes out because there's lots of dupes. And if you're like me, you already own like tons of palettes, you're most likely going to have a dupe somewhere. So... Yeah, let's get started. So obviously we're going to start off from number 5 and work our way up to number 1. For number 5, I'd say it's the Pure Sore, I think that's how you pronounce it, Diaries palette. So this palette is number 5. I have created a tutorial, I think it's just like a few videos back, if you want to check it out. And I absolutely love this palette. I love how thin it is. Very easy to clean if it gets dirty. Um, it's definitely travel friendly, and I feel like if you're going to be gone for a few days, you can definitely get away with this palette. You can create some very pretty neutral shades, and then you can also pair it with one of the shimmers on the bottom to create a more intense look. Um, I have used this color Splurge. I have used just that one by itself. Just do a really intense cat eye and put on lashes and you're pretty much fine. Um, yeah, I really, really like this palette. The pigmentation is awesome and it blends so beautiful. Also, it's pretty affordable compared to other palettes out there. So that's why this is number five. For number four, I have the Makeup Geek palette in collaboration with Manny MUA. I got this palette when it first came out and I really really love the shadows. I'm obsessed with this color. It is so freaking gorgeous and you can create a really intense pretty look with this color. It reminds me of the, I think it's the blue brown pigment from MAC. Very very similar. I don't think you can really tell the difference. I do have the, the blue brown pigment from MAC and I've compared it before and they're pretty much like dupes. They look exactly the same. So I really, really love this, and I think this is also a must-have, and that, uh, that's why this is number four. Also, very, very small. It is magnetic, so all your shadows are going to be protected, very sturdy, you know, it doesn't bend or anything, so... And I love how it has the names on the back. Very, very beautiful palette. Definitely a must-have. For number three, I have the Dose of Colors Hidden Treasure Palette. I feel like this was very hyped up for a while and then it like died down, no one talked about it and I think they brought it back. I just recently heard about it again but for a while I heard like nothing about it. And the reason why I really really like this palette and this made it to my top three is because of the shimmers. So I love that this palette has a majority of shimmers versus mattes so we have like shimmer 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 and shimmer i love this palette so much but like i said for the shimmers i don't care about the mattes at all because i can just use a matte from a different palette but these shimmers are like no other i swear like these shimmers are like pretty much glitter pressed into the pan if you can look at like this one at diamond i don't know if you guys can see it that well it literally just looks let's see it literally just looks like glitter if that's being pressed into the pan so like literally these I like to apply them with my finger you can also use a brush but they are so intense than like regular shimmers you don't even need to use flix plus I swear these look like real glitter on your eyes real glitter they are so pigmented and so beautiful like you need to try these these um this palette for the shimmers this is why i have it specifically for the shimmers again i don't care about the mattes i love it because of the shimmers definitely also a must have and again very thin and sturdy 
Palette number two, I have the Modern Renaissance Palette. And I feel like this is everyone's favorite. The brush, I don't care at the brush about the brushes. I feel like they don't really even try to make good brushes anymore. I know tons of people don't even use them. And I hate double-ended brush. Or I hate double-ended brushes because like I have a little folder where I stick my brushes in. And you know, if you put it in the little folder like that then whatever brush is touching the bottom is just going to get all smushed. So I just, I hate double-ended brushes. And I think the colors and the pattern that they have is just absolutely beautiful. I love all of these colors. I have tried all of them and they're all amazing. They all work beautiful. And I feel like everyone uses this palette if they're going to be creating like a red look. So I definitely highly recommend this one too. I know... Tons of people love this palette, and I can definitely see why. Number one, no surprise. I feel like a lot of people that probably have been watching me for a while already know what my number one palette is. Do I have to say anything? I don't think so. Number one palette of all time. I don't think I have to say anything. I feel like this palette speaks for themselves. Also, I know some people weren't getting the names sent to them when they ordered it. I got the names sent to them and I just taped it to the front just so I can see the names. I'm just going to say one thing. I'm going to repurchase this palette forever till the day I die. When I die, I think they're probably going to bury this palette with me. That's pretty much it for my top 5 favorite palettes. I'm going to be filming a lot more once school ends. Next week is finals week. Well, no, next week. The week after is finals week. So yeah, right after school ends, I'm going to be filming a lot more. I'm just trying to squeeze in what I can right now before I'm going to edit and then start studying. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm also thinking of filming like a random facts video. I don't know what other do, like 20, 30 facts. I don't know let me know what you guys want to see down below and we'll do that so that's pretty much it please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one